Golden Blue Tube here with you. I'm just going to get to it. West Virginia snaps a five-game losing streak, goes into Manhattan, and upsets the 24th-ranked Kansas State Wildcats. I'm so excited. I'll probably fumble over my words. That's okay. The one thing that I noticed was that last touchdown pass by Deggie to Bryce Wheaton. That touchdown pass showed so much poise. He was under duress, kept his feet moving, knew where the line was, and hit the open receiver. Touchdown West Virginia, and we win the ball game. I was looking at the stats here, and it surprised me. Now, I watched the whole ball game, but I didn't realize it. It surprised me West Virginia only trailed in the first quarter. That's, that's pretty good. This is the product that we were all waiting on. This is by far the best performance that West Virginia has had all year, offense and defense. They both played amazing this evening. Now, at the beginning of the game, I looked at the FPI, and it gave Kansas State an 88.4% chance to win. This was a big upset. Of course, you already know that, but I didn't realize how high the FPI percentage was for Kansas State, so that's pretty high. As far as yardage and all that goes, Deggy was 20 for 30, 234 yards, three touchdowns, but the magic number, zero interceptions. That's what we needed. And our run game was a little bit better this game. We needed it. Letty Brand was 13 carries for 62 yards. That's much better than what he's been doing. Still could be better. Working on that looked way better. There were stretches, though, where it looked stagnant. Again, we're working that out. And, of course, Campbell, five receptions, 92 yards, and two touchdowns. Now, for Kansas State, Skylar Thompson had only one interception coming into this game. In this game, we picked him off twice, including the game winner, the game winner, to end that uh, potential touchdown drive that Kansas State had going at the end of the game. And that was a scary moment because I looked at that play again, and it looked as if if he would have left, if he would have led his receiver just a little bit more, that could have been a touchdown for Kansas State, but our defense read it perfectly, picked it off, ball game so that was an exciting game it was an exciting ending to a game um, it was nice to see a quarterback to have poise he was patient he he did his uh, reads well he went through all, all of his check downs pretty good um, I still don't like the the screen calls we still got a lot to work out with that I don't know if it's the blocking or the placement or whatever that is but we have to get that figured out because our screen game is hurting us now for team statistics west virginia had 319 total yards kansas state had 421 yards but the big stat that usually we're on the losing end is turnovers we had zero turnovers this game that's what we needed and kansas state had two first downs west virginia had 17 and Kansas State had 23. But guess what? The stat that counts is the final score, and the final score was West Virginia 24, Kansas State 20. Believe it or not, our bowl hopes are still alive. We got to win out. We got to win Oklahoma State at home and at TCU. But tonight shows us that it is doable. It can be done. And if we play the way we played tonight, it will be done. So... Let's keep supporting our Mountaineers. Let's pack out Mountaineer Field for the Oklahoma State game and let's try to give it let's try to get us a bowl bid because it is possible and like I said, the way they played tonight, that was a bowl team. So thank you for joining me on this video. I'm very excited for this win for this upset and let's go Mountaineers.